Okay, I'll pray the show. I want to talk about this mark. Oh, the mark. Somebody, I need a. Praise the Lord. Oh, praise the Lord. All right. <clears throat> so anyway, all oh, praise the So where was I at? Back to this game that I never left. Um, the mark has been a hot topic. I'll be honest. All you brothers out there that's teaching all these things about the mark of the beast, the mark is this, the mark is that, the mark is philosophy, the mark is religion. If you can't tell by now that your doctrine, your belief in that regard is obsolete, I'm starting to worry about you. I'm going to be real. I'm starting to get worried about brothers who are not realizing that this ideological or spiritual mark is an obsolete doctrine. There are many doctrines that come from the old school that have been rendered obsolete, and that's okay. Give me the book of Daniel, how the knowledge shall increase. This is <clears throat> Revelation. Daniel, you know? uh, <laughs> the revelation of the prophet Daniel. That's how you spend that. Yeah, there you go. Daniel 12 and 4. But thou, O Daniel, shut up the words and seal the book. Uh -huh. Even to the time of the end. Many shall run to and fro, and knowledge shall be increased. Knowledge shall be increased the closer we get to the end. Okay. So whatever they thought it was when they did not have the type of knowledge, the type of information readily available at their fingertips that we have now has been rendered obsolete. There are stores that are open in this country where people are paying, they're buying, they're selling literally with their hands. This is going on right now. As we speak and the whole world sees it, and I want to admonish brothers out there who are teaching this stuff, you are actually setting yourself up for failure and, 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 and making yourself a potential laughing stock because the whole world is starting to see something that you are not seeing and you're supposed to be a seer. You're supposed to be a prophet. And some of you are allowing pride to blind you. It's very clear. It's very evident what this mark is and how it is inching into our society. Carl Law says he works at Amazon Fresh. We we're just talking about this yesterday on the way up to L.A. I see an Amazon Fresh store there at the Tustin Marketplace in Orange County. And I said, well, the Amazon, what is that? Amazon Flesh. I was at the, the Love Field Airport in Dallas last year over the summer. I was at the Love Field Airport in Dallas. And I was awaiting my flight out of Love Field Airport in Dallas. There's a store in the middle of the aisle. I just put my card in, walked in. Grab what I wanted, walked out. I dealt with no teller, no attendant. There was no employee. There was just a girl <clears throat> watching the door. Tap. I've been paying with tap. Just tap it. Boom. Transaction done. No pin, nothing. All of this is a precursor. Especially right? Especially with the credit cards. There's, the next step is, is, is here. 
It's already here. It's not like it's coming. It's here. It's not a thing that they've mandated yet. <clears throat> but it's here. People are doing it. I want to show y'all something. Who in the hell is Johnny Black in my back chat aside? No idea. For the band cut. Hold on. He's gone. <laughs> what is he doing in my back chat? <laughs> Bye. Is it we want smoke? I don't even tell them I tell people that. I'll do that sometimes. Deacon, he likes to talk to you people, likes to embarrass you people, you know? And edify, don't get it twisted. We'll open up for QA possibly, but that'll be done from the chat, right? <clears throat> Make sure I share them. I'm not sure this. But I'm gonna go to a brother who I've been talking to for about a month, but you know, met him just yesterday. Uh and and we hit it off great, had an amazing interview. A brother by the name of Poetic Flacco, employee over at No Jumper. Great guy, right? Great brother. <clears throat> I'm going to take y'all over there one second. And I was deliberating on what class was going to be about. I was contemplating this spirit all week. And my mind went to the market of beast. Then I began to go, mm, maybe uh, we'll see what happens. Then the, the, the reaffirmation came when I saw the brother make this post. Right? Let's go to that. And shout out to Sakari Memphis. If we can get some hand claps in the chat for Sakari Memphis, who's out there on the front lines dealing with the situation with the Memphis police. Y'all get it, give it up for Sakari Memphis, man. All praise to the most high. Them brothers doing their thing out there. In the streets of Memphis, 10, they was out there with Dolph Guy County. I mean, they're out there every week. Let's make sure that's clear. But, you know, special attention to these special circumstances and situations. They're out there when, you know, the brother Young Dolph lost his life, unfortunately. And they out there responding to these five black Memphis police officers who, um, man, you know, so it, sometimes it be your own people, as they say, who beat a brother to death in a very heinous, inhumane way. Right. Um, and the brothers out there on the front lines in that Memphis 10 regarding that. Let me, let me post this on my story real quick. You know, so like you. Okay. <clears throat> So let's let's do this. Oh, it's lucky. Oh. Yeah, so that's what the brother posted. Right. He said, Amazon now accepts payments with your hand. Nah, how are they going to chip in all you? How are they going to get the chip in all your hands? Right. So here we have this. I uh, enter identity. Identify yourself with your palm. <clears throat> all that is here. Right. All of this. And I remember when we did the report on this, when they were first rolling this out, I believe, at their San Francisco store. Right? At their San Francisco store. <clears throat> so, this is something that's been a long time coming and planning. 
And some of the elders of old, of course, didn't have any foresight or foreknowledge of this technology, this information that this was a part of a larger plan. It's a lot of people that maybe didn't know that. This is something that as we've gotten closer in and got through the tw- into the 21st century, rather, this has become more apparent. This has played out more, right? But this is what we read about. And you brothers can dance around. They could try to shake. They could try to rattle. They could try to roll. <clears throat> but it's happening in front of your faces. It is. It is. Right? <laughs> so let's let's read the Bible. Aside, if you could, let's go to Revelation 13. Right. <clears throat> Revelation chapter 13 and verse uh, 16. And he caused it all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or foreheads. Go ahead. And that no man might buy or sell. It say that no man may buy or sell. You cannot engage in commercial transaction, right, without this mark. How do we see that? There are people walking around right now with radio frequency identification chips implanted in their hand that they make financial transactions with, that they enter and exit buildings with, that their identification and and medical documentation is uploaded upon. This is happening now. Watch this. Let's just show it. Let's just show it, man. Well, many have started paying for things with our phones, even watches. One company, though, wants to take that technology (coughs) to another level by implanting a chip in your hand. (laughs) So the overseas company Walletmore is selling the microchip in parts of Europe. It's about the size of a grain of rice, goes under the skin, it's then activated using a digital wallet app. The chip is going for about $300, and the company says at least 200 people have gotten them implanted already. Who I would have people? many questions for a doctor about right. that. Yeah. How, how healthy it didn't look is very that micro, you? did it? No. It was pretty big. I mean, yeah. Right. And then look, News Nation, that was nine months ago. This is News Nation six months ago. You wrote an actual check or bought something with cash. Swiping and tapping our cards and our apps uh, are not just the easiest way to spend money. They're the safest way, unless, of course, we misplace our phones or our wallets, and then it's a nightmare. Uh, See that? You can't misplace your hand, and they're going to have to chop that off a lot harder than your phone, right? Let's go. It's hard to misplace your hands, however, and soon your hand may be all that you need to buy anything that you can afford and many things that you can't. Because a company called Walletmore is developing a very teeny, teeny, tiny chip. You see it there in the x-ray? <laughs> that should creep you out. Um, the, the chip is like the ones that are found in smart credit cards or debit cards. Uh, and the chip gets embedded just under your skin. Yeah, like, like the one that allows you to go up to the machine and just tap it and pay just like that one. And makes your whole hand a credit card. Joining me now is Wojtek Paroda. He's the CEO and founder of Walletmore. <coughs> okay, Wojtek, this is so uh, futuristic and out there, but walk me through how it actually works. Hey, so first of all, thanks for having me. Uh, it, let's look at the chip as, uh, as a super small part that you can use wherever contactless payments are accepted. So 
it's exactly the same NFC technology, which stands for near field communication. <coughs> and therefore it can be used only for the near field communication payments. So therefore you cannot be tracked, you cannot be monitored, you cannot be Okay, the near field communication payment meaning the NFC. That's what's in your debit court, right? That chip right there, see that? The one to be like that? That's called the NFC chip, near field communication. All right. Tied to that implant because it's exactly the same technology as credit card. So here's my worry, um, is that you can accidentally buy something by just having your hand too close to a machine, or you could accidentally have your data all stolen uh, by, by shaking someone's hand, because a lot of times we protect our, our cards in, you know, in, in cases that can't be uh, penetrated, but if it's in your hand, it's really hard to do that. It's not that simple, to be honest. First of all, you cannot... Uh, lose money when you are shaking hands with anyone because the implant is the passive type and it doesn't have any internal source of energy and therefore the only option to get the read of that implant is to put it in the near field of uh, terminal so therefore the other implant which is inside of the uh, the other person's hand is not capable of processing information. You need to have that source of energy and only terminals that you can see at the moment are capable of providing that energy. So that's one thing. The other thing is that you definitely cannot, cannot lose, your lose your money because of the fact that you top in a random place. Why? Because the implant is so small compared to the credit card. Normally, of course, when you top the credit card, the terminal, it gets the read instantly. With the implant, it's a little bit different because you need to be super precise. And therefore, if someone is touching your hand, finding this perfect sweet spot, because that's how we need to look at it, you would, uh, you would realize at least 10 times that something is going on with your hand. So that's do you, also- Do you um, have it? Wojciech, do you have yeah. it in your hand right now? Yeah, of course. Uh, actually, the x-ray that you saw was from my hand and that's how that's it you. looks. Uh, on my hand. So show me, show me your hand. Is it possible to see it at all? Uh, it's just barely, barely standing out, right? Like it's just, it looks like maybe a little like a scar. Yeah, I, as you can see, I'm popping it a little bit. Uh, oh man, that's crazy. Did you have a doctor insert it? Yeah, of course. That's part of the deal because uh, we are <coughs> only building implants and when it comes to the installations we want the whole experience to be as safe as possible and therefore we built a network of partners all across europe and the us so therefore if you are ordering an implant from our site it, it it's of course shipped to you but then uh, you need to schedule the appointment with one of the uh, specialists who will just set it up for you so do you use it like <clears throat> so as you can see there's a network of doctors that is working with these companies who is producing this to properly install this, right? So the medical field, the doctors are a part of this. We know what's been going on with doctors and syringes and what's been in them and what they've been putting in people and what they've been mandating to be put in people the last couple of years. We all know that, Right. Nobody here is oblivious to that whatsoever, right? <clears throat> and what we need to understand, what we need to understand is that all of this stuff that's been going on is again, yet again, just another precursor to this. Back to Revelation. Revelation 13 and 16. Again, and he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their forehands, foreheads, mm -hmm. and that no man might buy or sell. That no man might buy or sell. So there are already businesses right now that if you don't have a, a, a wallet on your phone, you don't have Apple Pay, you don't have a card you're locked out of. There are already cashless businesses that exist all over the place. We're good. All over the place. This started at the same time as the stuff started when all of a sudden you needed exact change, 
Remember when they, you needed a debit card or exact change? Remember that? It's all a part of the game. And if you can't see it, you're being blinded by election. And who elects to be blind? It's too late in the game for you to be blind on purpose right now. JD, y'all, by some y'all sharper than thought with water. Go ahead. Second answer is nine and five. I'm going to start at verse uh, four. J JD, why well, get this if you have, already have a smartwatch? Because I can steal your smartwatch. I can steal your phone. But I'm a lot less likely to cut your hand off than do those things. Right? And there's a vulnerability there. Did you just listen to the man talk? He just explained that your hand is not being is not powering the chip. And your phone is powered. Your watch is powered. I have a better chance at stealing your data while it's there than in your hand. So it's the safest way for your data to work. It's your safest way for your data to be stored. That's what he's explaining. Pay attention. Go ahead. Second is 9 and 5. We'll just get to the point. But like as all that is made in the world has a beginning and an end, and the end is, is manifest. That's what this, it, <clears throat> yeah, we see it manifesting right here. It, it's, it's manifesting what this is. You may have thought it was one thing or another, but it is being made thoroughly manifest what the mark of the beast is. And we got to stop playing. And brothers, y'all got to stop acting like you don't see what's right in front of you. Just because possibly you don't think the highest of the individuals who have forwarded the doctrine. Go ahead. Um, that's it on that. Back to Revelation. Uh, um. That's that's it on that one. Do you want me to go to the what else in Revelation one? Go to the next one. Fourteen. All right. This is Revelation chapter fourteen, and I'll start at verse fifteen. Revelation chapter fourteen. Um, it's in a little earlier. Okay. Revelation fourteen and nine. And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, "If any man worship the beast and his image." You want, you want me to get like where what the beast is? No, we go we gonna do that in a second. Okay. Uh, if any man worships the beast, so first we just gonna break it down. Then we are gonna analyze how crazy these alternative breakdowns are. Right. Go ahead. <clears throat> if any man worship the beast and his image, mm -hmm. and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of God. <clears throat> that goes into the neural link as well which Elon Musk is presently developing in the hand. If anybody has that, if anybody receives the mark, receives the mark, if you receive the mark, you're going into the lake of fire. That's what the Bible says. It's very important when you start talking this crap about, oh, the mark is this or the mark is that. The mark is sin. Well, if you've ever sinned, you're going to the lake of fire. That's That doesn't make sense. I almost called it what it really is, but I'm trying to spare y'all right now and, and, and just let you know that it's illogical to say a claim like that. How redundant that is. This beast that has the mark did not invent sin. Right? Where does sin go back to? Adam. Right? That's long before any of these beasts ever existed. So their mark does not get to be the thing that predates them. Their mark is something that they create. Go back to 13. Okay. Revelation 13 and I'll, I'll get to the 11. Here's the point. Uh-huh. 13 and 11. And I beheld another beast mm -hmm. coming up out of the earth. Read on. And he had two horns like a lamb uh -huh. as a dragon. Uh -huh. Go ahead. And he, <clears throat> and he exercised all the power of the first beast before him uh -huh. and caused the earth to and them which dwell therein to worship the first beast whose deadly wound was healed. Go ahead. 
and he does great wonders so that he makes fire come down from heaven on the earth in the sight of men. Uh -huh. <clears throat> And deceiveth them that dwell on the I earth. I need the point. Get to the point. We'll go around that in a minute. Get to the point. Uh, <coughs> which which one are you looking for, King Slot? I'm just looking for the mark of the beast. That's. I mean, we hit it already. I'm asking you to hit it again, sir. Okay. In all 13, right. that's what I'm doing. All right. And he caused it all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bonds. Okay. He, the other beast. That's two hours. Yeah, uh -huh. The other beast, the other beast in Revelation. Oh, hold on, so, so I don't jump the gun. I'm, that's not where I'm at right now. I'm not. I'm not making that point yet. Go ahead. Okay, verse 16. And he causes all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bonds, to receive a mark in their right hands or in their foreheads, mm -hmm. and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Right. <clears throat> so this beast has a mark. Has a name, his name has a number, right? This beast did not invent sin, so sin cannot be any of those things. Just general sin cannot be a single, solitary one of those things because this mark comes from the beast. And this beast is a lot younger than sin. That needs to be understood. You need to understand the depths of the deception of that understanding. The depths of the logical flaws in that understanding. It is so, it, it is so nonsensical on so many levels. I could understand how 40 years ago somebody winged this without knowledge of implantational microchips utilized to participate in commerce. But I can't understand how in 2023 somebody is still this dense to not see what is plainly before their eyes, man. Now go back. <clears throat> Revelation 13 and 11. And I beheld another beast coming up out of the earth. Go back before that. To the first beast? Uh -huh. All right. Revelation uh -huh. 13 and 1. Oh, oh, hold on. Hold on. Well, you, you, can, you can break it down for us. Hold on. All right. Revelation 13 and 1. And I stood upon the sand of the sea and saw a beast rise up out of the earth, having seven heads and ten horns. And upon his horns, ten crowns, and upon his heads, the name of blasphemy. So um, we, we see this also foreshadowed in Daniel chapter 7, um, how we see in the fourth beast, which we see then as the, uh, which the Roman Empire, it has ten horns. Then we see in Revelation 13 and 1, the first beast that's introduced also has ten horns. But then when you keep going all the way down, so verse 11, it says, and I beheld another beast. So this is another beast, not the one in Revelation 13 and 1, another beast um, coming up out of the earth. And he had two horns like a lamb and he spake as a dragon. Now, I want to explain that. But here's also a, a, a big issue with our brothers who say that the, the mark is it's simply sin. Okay, brother, it's sin. Well, how long has sin been out? It's, it's been out forever. Okay. Well, do you buy and sell? Yeah. <laughs> so you have the mark. Oh, you're, you're done. Let's go back, though. Verse 11. And I beheld. No, go back to the first beat. Okay. And I stood upon the sand of the sea and saw a beast rise up out of the sea, having seven heads and ten horns. What is that? What beast is that? That's called the Roman Empire. So let's make sure it's clear. The Roman Empire. That's what's being seen by John the Baptist. The power that was in power during his time. Right. Go ahead. <clears throat> and upon his horns, ten crowns. Uh-huh. And upon his heads, the name of blasphemy. Uh-huh. 
And the beast which I saw was like unto a leopard. Uh -huh. and his feet were as the feet of a bear. It's like unto a leopard because this devil hunts like a leopard does. How do leopards hunt? They stalk. They're stalkers. They stalk their prey. Like the show you on Netflix. Like the police in your community. Leopards. Go ahead. It says, in, in the beast which I saw was like unto a leopard, and his feet were as the feet of a bear. And his feet was the feet of a bear. This monstrosity of a beast stalked and hunted like a leopard, but was ferocious like a bear. Go ahead. In his mouth as the mouth of a lion. Uh huh. In, the in his mouth, meaning he roared. He talked a good game. Did you see that general come out there and say, Your children will be raised by somebody else talking about Russia? <laughs> Little does your dumb ass know, but he roared. Go ahead. And the dragon gave him his power. And, his and the dragon, so understand, the dragon, going back to the ancient Roman Empire, the one that was there in John's time. Now it's talking about the revitalized, the rebirthed Roman Empire, the Renaissance Roman Empire, the current that we live under Western European power structure, the European Union, the North Atlantic Treaty Organization, right? Go ahead. It says, in his mouth as the mouth of a lion, and the dragon gave him his power and his seat and great authority. And his seat and great authority. So the new Roman Empire is the EU and NATO. That's what that's telling you, right? Let's keep reading. And I saw one of his heads as it were wounded to death. Uh, uh huh. And his deadly wound was healed. Let's talk about the Roman Empire coming back, being reborn, the Renaissance period. Go ahead. And all the world <clears throat> wondered after the beast. All the world looked at the Western European white man as superior. All the world looked at the Western European white man as almighty as powerful, as intelligent. The world wondered. Go ahead. It says, and they worshiped the dragon, which gave power unto the beast. Uh, so they worshiped the ancient Roman Empire. When you go into the highest, the highest levels of education, everything is in Latin. All the terminology Everything is in Latin. What is that? That is a homage to ancient Rome. That is them worshiping the dragon. The architecture is fashioned after ancient Rome. That is them worshiping the dragon. The religion that they follow is that of ancient Rome. They worship the dragon. Go ahead. It says, and they worship the dragon, which gave power unto the beast. And they worshiped the beast, saying, Who is like unto the beast? Who is able to make war with him? Who can go against the white man? That's what they say. Who can see the white man? Nobody. That's how everybody feels. He is undefeatable. Namely, again, the Western European white man. Very specifically, you know, the ones that really conquested the planet. And they all benefit from white supremacy. But the Western European white man is the actor thereof. Let's make sure that's understood. Go ahead. It says, and there was given unto oh, I'm um, Yeah, no, I'm not tripping. Verse 5. <clears throat> there was given unto him a mouth speaking great things. He had a mouth, man. He used to, he pops it. And whatever he says, the whole planet believes at face value, absent any evidence, research, proof, scrutiny, anything. Go ahead. It says, and power was given unto him to continue 40 and two months. Right. Power. He had power. He's empowered over the earth. Go ahead. And he opened his mouth in blasphemy against God. Read on. To blaspheme his name. And his tabernacle, and then that dwell in heaven. To blaspheme, to lie on God, 
to lie on the, God's land and lie on God's people and say that somebody else is God's people. Somebody else is the Jews. Somebody else is the Israelites. That's what Western Europe did through the Bell Floor Declaration, the World War I and Two. That's how that's happened. Pay attention. Go ahead. And it was given unto him to make war with the saints. And they made war. How? Slavery. They were empowered to put us in slavery. It was given to him to make war with the saints. Western Europe, the English, the Spanish, the Portuguese, the French, the Dutch. Don't forget the German participated. The Italian participated. The Belgian participated. Right, the Irish, all them Irish, they participated. Now let them off the hook. The Welsh, go ahead. Says, and to overcome them, and power was given him over all kindreds and tongues and nations. These Western Europe countries from Western Europe have conquered the earth. There's a place called French Polynesia. There's a place called New Zealand. There's a place called Australia. There's a place called Hawaii. There's a place called Alaska. This damn devil has planted his flag everywhere. That's fulfillment of prophecy. This is the Western European white man. Go ahead. And all that dwell upon the earth shall worship him. And every white supremacy conquered the planet. And everybody now looks to the white man as the standard. Read. Whose names are not written in the book of life of the, uh, lamb, of the lamb slain from the foundation of the world. Read on. If any man have an ear, let him hear. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. So, so it, it, we're being told here that, yes, these people overcame the saints. They enslaved the saints. But they're going to go into captivity. Because they led into captivity. Go ahead. He that kills killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. They enacted a genocide. They have to be genocided. Go ahead. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. The saints who were overcome patiently wait to captivate their captors. Right? To avenge the slaying of their ancestors. Right? Keep going. And I beheld another beast. Under here, wait, there's now here's another beast. We talked all about the Roman Empire. Now here's another beast. This is the beast with the mark. The beast with the mark ain't the one we've been reading about. Here's another beast. Go ahead. Coming up out of the earth. And uh -huh. He had two horns like a lamb. He had two horns like a lamb. Right? Two horns like a lamb. What are the two horns like a lamb? See, this beast is this country that we're currently in. Me and Captain here in Sin City, Las Vegas. Hassad across the country in Raleigh, North Carolina. This is the this other beast that's being seen. This is the other beast. The other beast has two horns. The Senate, the House, these different branches of government. Right, go ahead. Has, um, had two, two uh, horns like a lamb, and he spake as a dragon. And he spake. He talks it tough. Now the beast, the first beast talked like a lion. This beast talks like a dragon. Understand that. A lion roars, a dragon breathes fire. Right? Lions roar, dragons breathe fire. That's very important to understand. So as 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 England will talk tough and heavy, the sun shall never go down on England. Ain't that how the saying goes aside? America talks it even tougher and heavier. They breathe fire. Right? That's important to understand. This beast speaks as a dragon. Go ahead. It says, and he exerciseth all the power of the first beast before him. And, and this beast, 
America has all the power of Western Europe and then some. They control Western Europe. They control NATO. They can lead any Western European nation into war at their leisure and have. They exercise all the power of the first beast. Go ahead. And cause of the earth and them which dwell therein to worship the first beast whose deadly wound was healed. And they further this indoctrination of romanticism. Right? Go ahead. It says, and he doeth great wonders. Listen, Alexander Kaufman, the hell out of my chat, sir. Thank you. The jab is not this. Because they mandated the jab and we all still was buying stuff. So it's not that the jab is just the test run. Pay attention, stupid. 2023, and there's Hebrew Israelites in the truth that still stuck on stupid. Stuck on stupid. Inexcusable. Go ahead. And he doeth great wonders, so that he maketh fire come down from heaven on the earth. He made, he made fire come down from heaven on earth. How did he do that? Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Fire came down from heaven. Go ahead. In the sight of men. And in, in every the whole world saw Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Everybody saw that. Hiroshima and Nagasaki, everybody saw, and it made the world to fear and say America was the only superpower. Go ahead. And deceiveth them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles. So because of the might that America demonstrated in their hand through Hiroshima and Nagasaki, they were able to forward all of their narratives throughout the earth because it made everybody afraid of them. Uh, go ahead. It says, uh, by the means of those miracles which he had power to do in the sight of the beast, uh -huh. saying to them that dwell on the earth that they should make an image to the beast. They should make an image. This is white supremacy, an image to the peace. Go ahead. Which had the wound by a sword and did live. Uh -huh. And he had the and he had power to give life unto the image uh -huh. of the beast. Uh -huh. That the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. Going back to everybody who didn't bow to Christianity was slaughtered, was genocided, etc. Go ahead. And he causes all he the second beast, he. You're right, the second beast. All, both what? Both small and great. Small and great. Uh huh. Rich and poor. Rich and poor, no matter your socioeconomic status. Free and bonds. Whether you're in jail or you're out, go ahead. To receive a mark in their right hands or in their foreheads. And, and, and I, I want, I want y'all to think about this. A, a judge recently made a ruling. A man was given a deal on a he was supposed to do five years. He was supposed to get like three, do three. The judge told him if he didn't get the jab, he was having to do his full sentence. He was only gonna get his deal that was already signed for, that the DA already agreed to if he got the jab, which was never a part of the deal. So that's just giving you and not saying the jab is the mark. I want to make sure that's clear. That's not at all the position we're taking. But I'm showing you in the spirit of the Most High, the groundwork that's being laid for the actual mark to be rolled out. All of the des desensitization that we as a society have to go through in order for them to be able to pull this one off smooth. They've got to run precursors. And that's what's going on. I hope you're paying attention. Go ahead. It says to receive a mark in their right hands or in their foreheads. Uh -huh. And that no man <clears throat> might buy or sell, save he that had the mark. Uh huh. And because they're going to switch over the commercial system of this country in totality to a system like that. Go ahead. It's like, if I may, I was, I don't know why people are acting like that's so crazy. I mean, uh, 
credit cards and debit cards, I'm sure, to people who are so used to dealing with cash all the time was probably, no, we're not going to just switch over to a, to a card. Are you kidding me? And how old is a credit card? Probably like 60 years old. Yeah, you got to remember before that, it was checks first. You see what I'm saying? First checks, then the cards, then the chip card. You see what I'm saying? How, how it's evolved. It says, uh, and that no man by, might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Here is wisdom. Let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, and his number is 600 through score and six. Right. So there, there we have it. There we have it. It's there. It's plain. It's clear. Y'all see that? Really ain't nothing else to talk about at all. America didn't invent sin, pimp. So that's not their mark. America didn't invent Christianity. It's not their mark. America has certain agendas, though, so, and plans that they've had in place for a long time that they're looking to carry out. That's something that they did originate. Pay attention. Pay attention, man. All the ancient kingdoms of the earth were sinful. Egypt, Babylon, Assyria, Medio Persia, Greece, etc. Sin is not unique to America. All of those those kingdoms that preceded this one were riddled with sin. Use your brains. The word for Mark in the Greek is karagma. It goes back etymologically in the Greek language to the Greek word karax, which means to impale. Stick something in something. That's what it means. Use your brains. Did you hear my voice? I'm not going all night with y'all. It's very clear. You know, all praise you, how about you, me, I was shy. And you know, look for me on No Jumper, the coolest podcast in the world, coming soon. All praise you, how about you, me, I was shy. We out, Shalom.